Thank you very much, John. For many around the world, Sunday is the start of the new year. The Vietnamese call the celebration Tet. And joining us with a look at how Saigon Johns will be celebrating, we've got Johnny Keen from Saigon Johns. So for, first off, let's talk food because there's a lots of fun things going on with the celebration on Saturday. Yes. What are you making? You're making uh, a banh mi. Yes, I'm making a hot honey hoisin uh, chicken banh mi. Oh, wow. Sounds good. Yes. All right. Well, can I do anything or you got her? I got it right here. All right, go um, for it. Basically, I'm going to put some uh, hot honey hoisin chicken in the pan here. Normally, uh, in the, the restaurant, we wouldn't be using a pan, but we're using a, a grill and a charbroiler. Right, right. Uh, this chicken is uh, you know, marinated with hot honey hoisin chicken, gluten-free. Oh, uh, nice. Yeah, and 100% natural uh, chicken, so no preservatives, uh, you know, grown, uh, sorry, raised free range, everything like that. Really cool, very nice to see. You know, people are more and more eating healthy. So yes. I want you to cook, you go and you do your thing, man, but I want to ask for people who haven't who've never celebrated Tet, uh, what can we expect? So basically it's a traditional Vietnamese New Year and uh, what you can expect is uh, you know just a, a lavish celebration just like your Christmas, Thanksgiving, birthdays all rolled into one. It, it is a huge celebration so yes. uh, Saturday night at midnight the party really starts yes. and it doesn't end until... Well in uh, traditionally in like Vietnam and uh, China and stuff like that it doesn't really end until you know, a week, two late, weeks later. Nice, so, so it's like a heck of a party. And not only uh, is there spectacular food, um, but some special foods as well, including this cake you were describing over here. What's, what's yes. underneath the leaf? Uh, basically, it's a banana leaf, and it's a sticky rice uh, with uh, beans and, and sometimes meat in it. It's called uh, bang yeah. chung. So, and, and you know, it, it actually takes uh, you know, a couple of days to repair. Okay. Um, so it's a very laborious process, and you know, they only pretty much eat it uh, you know, during New Year. And so served cold like a dessert? Uh, no, you can, you can uh, serve it uh, warm, or like, you, know, you can fry it up as well, cut it open and fry it up. Right on. So. And then uh, what you keep going, man, you do what sure, you got to yeah, do. No. Um, but I want to ask also about these things. Uh, just like the Chinese New Year, little red envelopes of money are handed to yes. kids. Yes. And so that's just, uh, you know, it's called lucky money. Uh, you give it to you know your uh, your children and stuff like that, just to give them uh, you know a, a good start in New Year. And it's just you know a tradition that's uh, held all the time. Really neat. Nothing in that one. Okay, cool. So we got our chicken frying up. Yep. Can we talk? Can we talk spice? When I'm coming into Saigon, John's, uh, should I be getting my palate ready for something hot? Sure. Uh, this is a hot honey oyster chicken. It's not you know entirely super hot, but it's you know one of my most favorite dishes. Um, give, me a, give me a number out of 10. Am I a number out of 10, I would say a 3 out of 10. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's not too bad. Um, but, uh, you know, we also have uh, chilies on the table as cool. well as, like, you know, sriracha hot sauce as well. So if 3's not kicking it for me, then I can, I yes. can move it up all right. Yes. Now, Saturday, you guys are not only going to be celebrating, but also uh, giving back to the community. Uh, tell people how they can, uh, they can help things out on Saturday. So this Saturday, uh, we will be having a uh, Vietnamese New Year for uh, Hope. Uh, food drive for Winnipeg Harvest, and basically, you come in, give us two non-perishable food items, yep. and we'll give you 50% off any entree. So I, I pick my food, I get half off just for making a donation to yes, Winnipeg Harvest. Yes, fantastic. Um, Vietnamese New Year is considered a time you know you get together with your family, uh, you uh, you know go and meet with everybody and forget about all your past troubles in the, in the old, uh, you know, the past year. Yeah. And, you know, so, and then you have a time for, for hope, uh, looking towards the new year. So, you know, that's just kind of where that theme comes from. It's a great idea of, uh, of you know, the, uh, sometime that a strange family member comes back, uh, they call them the pilgrim who returns. You find that person who maybe had something bad last year, but now you, you welcome in the year of the snake with a, with a positive outlook and a positive attitude. Yes. What we're going to do, John, is we're going to post all that information on breakfasttelevision.ca so you can find out all that info if you want to get in the, in the celebration and do something good not only for you for the new year, but also for Winnipeg Harvest. All that info is on breakfasttelevision.ca. You keep cooking because I know Jenna's sure. hungry. Right now we want to check on whether the conditions. Here's Jenna Khan.